and welcome. In this video, we are going to show you how to design and also animate a PowerPoint slide that presents Porter's Five Forces in a visually exciting way. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to create the slide from scratch. Make sure to follow us to see part two in the series where we'll show you how to animate this second slide. So let's begin. First, open up your Microsoft PowerPoint application and start with setting up your slides. Here in this example, we have the slide already set up with a dark background. We'll start with setting up the slide with the section name, and you can adjust the font to your liking. And we're gonna make it a little smaller, put it to the corner, and add a divider line. By the way, we are UExec. We create presentation tutorials and spreadsheet explanations to save you hours of work. Follow us to receive weekly videos that will propel your career forward. And now we're going to type in the main title of the slide and also adjust the size of the font and the font family. You can also adjust the line height. Now we're going to go to freepick.com and find a vector that suits our needs. And in this case, we're going to open the vector graphic that we just downloaded and delete any parts that we don't need. So after cleaning the file up, we're going to be left with this Rubik's cube. And remember, just make sure that the image that you downloaded should be a vector. Then we're going to select all cubes and directly copy paste it into the slide. And you can adjust the size accordingly. Right click on the graphic to convert it to shape. Select the shapes and each side of the cubes to change the color to their desired shadings. And then we're also going to select five of these cubes and edit the color to a blue hue. Make sure that each cube's shapes is being grouped. So that way we can add a shadow to the entire cube. You can adjust the blur, the transparency, the color of the shading as you desire. Now we're going to add a circle and we're gonna send it to the back for now because the circle is gonna be behind the Rubik's cube. Let's now change the fill inside the circle. We're gonna make it a gradient fill from blue to purple, which are the theme colors. And then we're going to go to the shading section and add 3D bevel to the top. Adjust the width and height. And we're also going to add special effects under the material and the lighting section. Now move the circle and center it to the Rubik's cube. And now we're going to just select all the dark cubes and add a thin black line as a border. Remember, like always, you can get the animated slides we've covered in the video, plus 500 other business templates to save you hours of work. Just click on the link below. The slides are compatible with Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Sheets, and Apple Keynote. Now it's time to add the actual text and content. So for Porter's Five Forces, we have Threat of New Entry, Buyer Power, Substitution, Competitive Rivalry, and Supplier Power. And we're going to draw lines 
to connect the text to each of these five blue cubes. So first we're going to draw a horizontal line, which you can just copy and paste. And now we're going to draw a tilted line that actually connects the horizontal line to the cube itself. And we'll adjust the line with a gradient filling so that part of that gradient is a transparent blue. And we're going to repeat that same step for every single one of the five forces. Now that the designs are set up, we'll show you how to create the animation for this slide. We're going to make a reference point with this graph it. Make a copy of the entire Rubik's Cube, and then we're going to make every single cube come closer to each other, both from top to bottom and from left to right. So as you can see, we're moving not all the cubes, just a little bit closer to each other. And this is going to create a reference shape that you will use for the animation. And because this is a reference shape, we want to differentiate it from the actual design. So let's just give the shape a white outline to indicate that this is not the actual design, but rather a reference point. Now, move this reference cube and overlap it and center it with the original cube design. The goal here is to animate the Rubik's cube such that each cube moves out by a little bit as if the cube is expanding. So we'll add a line animation. The animation path will go from the white outlined reference cube to the actual position of the original cube design. The green dot indicates where the animation starts. So you're gonna line that up with the white reference cube. And the red dot indicates where the animation is going to end. So you're going to move it to overlap with the actual cube design and its position. This is how it should look like. And we're going to change the animation setting so then it starts not on click, but with previous. That way the animation plays automatically. Then we will apply the same setting and same animation path to all the other cubes. So the final animation for the cubes should look something like this, expanding from the center outward. Now let's animate the circle behind the cubes. So the first animation that we're going to add is a spin animation. And we're going to change the timing to start with previous so it plays with the cubes. And then uh, we will also add a basic zoom animation so that the circle spins and zoom at the same time. And you can adjust the duration of these animation options as usual. Remember, like always, you can get the animated slides we've covered in the video, plus 500 other business templates to save you hours of work. Just click on the link below. The slides are compatible with Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Sheets, and Apple Keynote. And for the spinning animation, one thing that, that we will also do 
is to change the timing of that animation because the default setting prompts the shape to spin quite fast. So we're going to change the duration and the repetition because we want the circle to continue spinning. We're going to choose for it to repeat until next click. And last but not least, we're going to add a grow slash shrink animation to the circle. Again, it's going to start with the previous and we'll change the duration and the delay. And as far as how big the circle is going to expand, we will adjust it to 115% of its current size. Once again, it's going to repeat until the next click. So whenever you want the slide to finish. And this is how the circle animation looks like. Now we're going to group each horizontal line and its tilted line so then it's easier to animate them at once. For each line, we're going to want it to animate from the center outward to where the text is. So we're going to add a wipe animation and for the three forces on the right, it's going to wipe from left to right. And for the two forces on the left hand side of the slide, the lines will wipe from right to left. So we will add the same wipe animation to all of the lines. Now it's time to animate the text. In this example, we're going to add a peek in animation now for each paragraph. And as usual, feel free to adjust the duration. We made the duration to two seconds for this one. And apply to each of the five paragraphs or text areas that you see on the slide. And this is how the final result with the design and animation looks like. We hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you work in the industry and have feedback, or if you have questions, leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. If you have suggestions for other templates we should create, let us know. Thank you so much for watching.